Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my favorite absolute necessities for the summertime. I have lived near the beach, near the lake, near the river, and overall, these things that I'm gonna be talking about just get me through it all. We're talking about some beauty products, some just everyday essentials, and some fun things for adventuring and having a great summer day. I will have links to all the products that I talk about below. If I can't find the exact item, I'll try to link something uh, really similar. So let's get into it. Hi guys, editing Nicole here. So when I sat down to film this video, my eye was watering. And when I went to go wipe my eye, I guess I had wiped mascara onto my lower lid and I just didn't see that it was there. I clearly see it in the video now, so if it's distracting you or you think it's annoying, my bad. Just don't look at it. Okay, so the first absolute necessity for summer is obviously sunscreen. I have two. Um, personally, for my body, I like using a spray sunscreen. There's something about like a lotion that just feels weird to me. I don't like it. I don't want to waste my time making sure it's all rubbed in and set. Like, I just want to spray and go. Um, especially if you're at the beach, having like lotion all over your hands and then like, ugh, it's the worst. I hate it. So I always use a spray sunscreen for my body. Um, I don't really care about the brand. Um, did I get this one because it's blue and has uh, tropical flowers on it? Absolutely. Sometimes I think that regular sunscreens can just really break you out if you use them on your face. And so sometimes I like to have just a regular one um, designed specifically for your face. Um, so this one is new to me. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, sunscreen. I like anything from the Hydro Boost line. And so when I saw that they had a sunscreen, I was into it. I used it a couple times. It's a thinner formula, which I really appreciate, especially for a face sunscreen, because then I feel like it'll layer under makeup and whatnot a little bit easier. So if you forget your sunscreen or you just burn really easily, aloe vera is also a really important necessity for the summertime. I get the Banana Bow Soothing after sun gel. Um, Banana Boat also sells a white creamier aloe and I've heard that, that one is really good. Also, this is just the one that I found at my store. I'll get a um, just like a cute silicone mold. Um, you find them a lot of times at like Target in the dollar section. I had one that was palm trees and you take your aloe and you put it in the silicone mold, pop it in the freezer. Then when you get a sunburn, you just pop out the frozen aloe and you rub that all over your sunburn and it's gonna be so nice and cooling when you're putting on your aloe. So this is another like absolute necessity. Honestly, sometimes not even just for the summer, just for daily life. It's baby wipes. Um, as you can see, I use the heck out of them. Baby wipes, especially for the summertime, are just such a necessity, whether you're at the beach, you're camping, or you're just out and about for long periods of time and it's really, really hot. Baby wipes are just really nice to have on hand just to either wipe down your face or your hands, just to clean yourself off and feel refreshed throughout the day. I started using them because when I was going to the beach, my hands would get messy, whether I was eating or, you know, putting on sunblock my hands would just get really really gross and then of course you have the sand all in there so i would take baby wipes just toss it in my bag and then when my hands got all dirty i just take a baby wipe clean it off really quick and it was perfect and then my friends and i had taken a camping trip we were going to be there for several days and we had no access to a shower and so i told everyone bring baby wipes you can wipe yourself down throughout the day and honestly it was such a lifesaver. Please don't go out and like rob your store of all the baby wipes because obviously babies need it. So just get a pack at a time, toss it in your summer bag, and you're good to go. Okay, so speaking of feeling refreshed and cooled off, I also recommend that you keep a face mist in your bag. My personal favorite is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. It's super, super hydrating. I've heard YouTubers talking about this product for years and I just absolutely love it. And this actually takes us to our next product. It is this teeny tiny little travel size spray bottle. And you're probably thinking, Nicole, why do I care? Okay, so hear me out. 
The sprayer on this thing is so fine. This 97 cent spray bottle is the equivalent of like the Morphe setting spray. Like you know how fine that mist is? This. Th for what? For what reason? Who told you to be that good? I'm just saying. Like, excuse me? I don't know. But you need to have it in your life. Another product you need to have on hand is a good lip balm. Right now, I'm using the Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Moisturizing Lip Balm. One of my favorite lip balms, I will say, is the Laneige Lip Mask. But my issue with that one was I didn't like having to like dig my finger in the little pot. And so I had switched over to the lip balm because it came in a tube and I just didn't like it as much. This one is really good. I will say it's a meltier formula. So that's kind of all you have to be aware of. Honestly, if you popped your lip balm in your freezer or something and then took it out uh, for the day, awesome. The next thing you absolutely need to have for the summertime is a good water bottle. I don't have mine with me because I left it at my friend's house. I personally think either the Hydro Flask or the Yeti are probably your best option for a really good traveling water bottle. They're high quality, they're made well, and honestly, I just really don't think that you can do better. Personally, I have a Hydro Flask and I liked it because they came in a different range of colors. Um, but my issue with the Hydro Flask was you like have that weird like whole connector thing or whatever. That's the only like convenient way of hearing it and it's not that convenient. So I went on Amazon and I got a strap to put on my Hydro Flask and that was absolutely a game changer because it made it so much easier to carry and also mine had a buckle on it and so you could undo it and then attach it if you're going hiking or something and you want to attach it to your belt loop. It was super convenient. The next thing that you need to have, especially if you have long hair, is a wet brush. When your hair is wet, it is a lot easier to break. And so if you are brushing your hair with a regular brush, you pull out a lot more hair that way. Whereas a wet brush is specifically designed to brush your hair when it's wet. Um, so it's just a little more gentle. This is perfect for summertime, whether you are going out to the beach or the lake and your hair is just a mess and you just want to brush it really quick um, which I know I always liked to do when I was at the beach and my hair was just a mess and then we would walk to go get food wet brush absolutely a game changer and then speaking of taking care of your hair I recently started using this Pantene conditioning hair mist it says it nourishes and renews dry hair it is so so good my hair will be looking at absolute mess and I spray this all over my hair, brush through it with my wet brush and I am good to go. It looks brand new. It is so good. But especially if you are out camping, if you're at the beach, if you're at the lake and your hair is just looking a mess after you have gone and swam all day, spray some of this in your hair and then go through it with your wet brush. One, it's going to make brushing your hair a lot easier because it is a conditioning detangler, but also it's going to add some moisture back into your hair after being out in the sun and all of that all day. So I really, really like this for everyday use, but especially in the summertime. The next thing I'm going to talk about is self tanner. Now, there are a billion self tanners out on the market and personally, some of my favorites are Loving Tan and Bondi Sands. So this is the Loving Tan Deluxe Face Tan, and then this is just the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam. Personally, I think a self tanning foam does the best job. I know some people just use the like regular self tanner on their face, but personally, I feel like when I do that, I just break out easier. And so I know Loving Tans uh, is specifically designed for the face, which is why I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know. These are the two that I like. So the next thing that you need for summer, of course, is a good bathing suit. I have two options 
here that I want to show you. So this first one is a very practical bathing suit. It is full coverage. This one specifically gives you the comfort and security of a one piece, but also the flair, I would say, of a two piece bathing suit because of course you have these cutouts. I think a few weeks ago, Alicia Marie did a bathing suit haul and she featured this bathing suit in that video and she absolutely loved it as well. It comes in like a million different colors. It's just super cute. I really like it. As for like not really a practical bathing suit, I have this. Here, let me see if I can show you. I'll show you the bottoms first. This bathing suit from Shein. Um, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to show you. Um, I'll throw in a picture somewhere. First off, just the color of this suit itself is so, so pretty. You have these like strand of jewels, which is so stinking cute. When I saw it, I immediately just thought like Princess Jasmine fantasy. Like you can't tell me. You can't tell me that she wouldn't die over this. It's so cute. So I have absolutely no idea when I would wear something like this. Because again, okay, I it's extra. I get it and I know, but I needed to have it. So going along with bathing suit, you of course need some good flip flops. Um, the ones that I want to show you, I don't have right now because um, my dog loves them as much as I do. Personally, I love any reef flip-flops. I think they are so comfortable. They're so sturdy and high quality. Um, I know a lot of people like the rainbow flip-flops. I never really got into those. What other ones? Birkenstocks, Crocs. Personally, reef is my favorite. Those are the ones that I did have and that I would like to get again. Um, they're just my favorite sunglasses. I'm a big advocate for inexpensive sunglasses. If you are like me, I lose my sunglasses. I break my sunglasses, especially in the summertime. They're gone. In the ocean, goodbye. Camping, broken. And so I don't feel the need to pay any more than like maybe $15 for sunglasses. There's just no reason for it. There's no reason for it. Personally, especially for summertime, I think aviators are some of the cutest style that you can wear. I like wearing gold aviators for the summertime. I just think they're so classic. They go with any outfit. I had a pair from Target that I think was like $13. Lost it. Um, and so then I found these at Walmart one day for, I kid you not, maybe $4. $4. I just think they are so cute. I think aviators look good on anyone. Um, the gold frames are just perfect for summer. So these are my favorite sunglasses. The next thing I absolutely think that you need to have for the summertime is a cute mini backpack. There is something about having a backpack instead of a purse during the summertime that I just love. Summer to me is a very out and about, let's go adventure time of year. And so I just think a mini backpack is so much more practical than a purse. Um, especially if you want to carry around various things, if you're going to be out and about all day and you want to carry more things with you, I think if you're carrying around a tote bag all day, it's just going to start to be inconvenient, which is why I like the practicality of a backpack. Um, this one specifically I've had for a really long time, so I don't know that I will be able to find you, um, an exact link. Amazon has a million different options for mini backpacks. It's just nice to be able to have all of your stuff ready to go, throw it on and head out the door. Speaking of backpacks, for this summer, I got this waterproof backpack. This one is huge. I got her on Amazon and there are various sizes, um, all the way from like just small little pouches 
to this one. This is either the largest size or like second to largest. The point of this bag, it's a waterproof dry bag and I specifically got it for when we are floating the river and we have things with us that we obviously don't want to get wet. We can throw it into the backpack and not worry about it. I also thought it would be great to use as just an overall summer backpack for, you know, if we're taking towels down to the lake or whatever, or um, if you are going to the beach and you don't want sand to get all in your stuff, I definitely think that this would be a great backpack for you. Another reason why I think having a waterproof backpack or a dry bag is so important is if you're out swimming and you have dry clothes that you want to bring with you, but you don't know what to do with your wet items, maybe they don't have enough time to dry, you can throw it in your dry bag and not worry about it because everything that is inside and is wet isn't going to leak out all over all of your other stuff. Along with waterproof items, I love having a waterproof phone pouch. I know nowadays it's really easy to find a waterproof phone case. My problem with a waterproof phone case is one, I feel like if you're taking it to the beach, there's really still no way of making sure that sand doesn't get all over your phone and it feels like it would still be a pain in the butt to clean. I don't know. I also personally like having a waterproof phone pouch versus a phone case because if we are floating the river and I have my phone with me, because I have this lanyard, I can attach it to the handle of the raft and I know even if somehow if we go over a big bump or whatever and my phone flies out of the raft, it's not going anywhere because it has this lanyard and it's still attached. If you're gonna get a waterproof phone case, I personally would get it in person because I've ordered one online before and when it came in the mail, the plastic sheet on it made my phone camera blurry and I really enjoy taking photos, especially during summertime when we're out and having fun and, you know, making memories. I want to document that. And if my phone camera is blurry, then there's really no point in it. The plastic sheeting on this does not do that. Both sides still let your phone camera be crystal clear. So along with my like waterproof items. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is an absolute necessity for me specifically. It is these water socks that I got from Amazon. It has this like rubbery bottom on it that acts like the bottom of a shoe, but it is still lightweight um, material. So it's not like super hot or anything. Um, it's waterproof, which is great. And the reason why I love these is because I have super sensitive feet. And so I hate walking around barefoot. And a lot of times, especially out here, you have to walk through some rough terrain before you get to the water, whether it's rocks or just like dirt and sticks. If you're at the beach and the sand is really, really hot. Personally, I chose to get water socks versus just sandals that have like a strap on it because especially out here the water can get really really cold and so because it has this added sock layer it acts almost like a wetsuit for my feet and just adds a little barrier between my feet and the water to keep it a little bit more warm which is why I really appreciate it. Now I'm not gonna lie I absolutely used to be that girl that thought if you wore water socks it was like lame or something but honestly since I've gotten these they are such an absolute necessity. I don't care what anyone says I would rather look funny with socks on my feet than like step on glass or have my toes freeze off so water socks get them the next thing i'm going to talk about is too big for me to hold here on camera so i'll insert some pictures but it is a intex river float personally even if you're not using this specifically for the river any of the intex floats are so so great for the summertime the intex brand specifically is just so high quality and they have so many different pieces that are so essential for the summertime between their floats and their coolers, just like regular pool floats. I have one of the two seater river floats with the cooler in the middle. Personally, I would never float the river by myself. I would always 
go with at least one other person for safety reasons. And so having a tandem river float just made sense to me. Um, also, anytime we float the river, we like to have drinks with us. And so the fact that it has a built-in cooler with it was just so awesome. I absolutely love our float and I definitely think it is a necessity for some good summer fun. So those are all the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Some honorable mentions that we just didn't have time for are a topless Jeep, California Girls by Katy Perry, and some good friends that are willing to play mermaids with you. If you have some ride or die summer favorites, please put them in the comments below. I would love to try out your favorites as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!